Hello boys and girls. I'm about to start playing Primordial. It's a uh, uh, adorable little new game. I found in uh, good old games. And uh, I have tried out a little bit and uh, and decided that I would really really uh, want to Uh, my progress here. So, without further ado, let's start a new game. Almost there. One more setting. And one more piece of the unique is operational. One down, one million to go. <laughs> Speaking of which, boss, I found exactly none of the parts you wanted. A whole day at the junk pile and all I turn up are a locker and some stupid conduits. Maybe next time. Uh, boss, are you sure you got those settings right? That came from down in engineering. Let's go. Crispin, get behind me. <laughs> Who are you and what do you want? Power. I think he wants the power core, boss. Stop right there. This ship belongs to me. Forfeit. <laughs> Enemy. Wonder. I don't think he's too keen on private property. Get away from the power core. Forfeit. Horatio, come on, Horatio, wake up! Ugh. Whew, you're okay. What happened? Well, Big Ugly threw you out of the ship. <laughs> and then he said, plunder, <laughs> again. And then he left with our power core. Basad. Yep. How much charge have you got? Ten percent. You? I'll be fine. We just need to get the emergency generator up and running. I told you it needed to be repaired. Or we could just go to Metropole, city of glass and light. Free energy for one and all. Don't believe everything you hear. Metropole is trouble. But if you want to go, you've got free will in a maglev unit. <laughs> with that guilt subroutine you put in me, I wouldn't even make it halfway. Actually, with a 10% charge, you wouldn't even get that far. So I suggest we get the generator working. <sighs> you and your projects. Man built us to build, Crispin. Now, come on. Okay, and this is where the game starts, basically. Uh, I must admit that I'm not running completely blind here, because I have, I have already played a little bit of the beginning, and familiar, like, familiarized myself with the controls and such. So I have a pretty good idea uh, what uh, needs to be picking up here. So let's get started. 
I must have dropped the data pouch when I was thrown out of the Unique. Got it. The sod. Its memory got wiped. Easy enough to have the good old junk pile's coordinates back in, though. I can't move this without some kind of crane, which I certainly don't have time to build now. Uh -huh. It's one of the Unique's turbines. The big engine that couldn't. <laughs> Is that a gumball machine? No, it's a robot's head. Ah, uh, I wanted a gumball. <laughs> I wanted a gumball. Nothing worth here. salvaging. A broken robot I dragged out of the junk pile. I salvaged the sarcasm co-processor from it for Crispin. Yeah, it works great. <laughs> engineer like you boss but it seems like the unique isn't gonna fly without its tail on some arms on him. He is my best and only friend. Some very sticky grease. It's the Unique's tag. Without it, I'd have never known the ship's name. <laughs> Apparently, building a giant airship doesn't require proper spelling. Apparently not. Fun fact. In Estonia, if you... Add an H uh, in the beginning here. This word would uh, be Hunik, which basically means a pile. Oh, cable. A sturdy yep. cable. Yep, me like it. Cable map of need. And we, right now, this is our primary objective here. This is what there's supposed to be a power-bearing conduit between this socket and the ship, but I never got around to putting one together. Now who's the procrastinator? <laughs> this is what we need to get up and running at first. Crispin, when I told you to find a new spark plug, did you just shove my conductive putty into the old one? Uh, maybe. <laughs> no wonder the generator isn't working. At least the putty is still good. Putty. It's not going to do anything until the generator's fixed. There's supposed to be a power-bearing conduit between this socket and the ship, but I never got around to putting one together. So this is when, uh... This is where, uh, these... Uh, buggers come in, except I will need I'll more. need at least five pieces yeah. to be able to build a conduit long enough to run the generator to the Unique. I have seen so far. Uh, this game seems to be like a, uh, like a spiritual. You know, boss. If you're ever wondering what I would do, feel free to just ask. I'll keep that in mind. He will also start uh, spewing advice if you go idle for too long. Uh, I found it quite useful. Nowhere was I. As much as I can, I can tell, uh, this game seems to be like sort of uh, not a sequel, but uh, sort of like in the same spirit as uh, under the steel, underneath the steel sky. And why I say it seems, it's because to my shame, I have to admit that I have never gotten past the first room in beneath the steel sky. Uh, it's, it's one of those games that uh, 
I've tried patching this a dozen different ways without success. Yep. It's one of those games that uh, Good Art Games uh, sort of uh, hands you when you create an account. And I tried it out and, uh, and I even uh, got the, the uh, controls uh, figured out. What's this? Oh! More Gordian okay. conduit. Goody. Uh, and uh, let's see. The hatch is unresponsive. Yep, the hatch is unresponsive. Uh, and uh, even though uh, the Go game, uh, games often come with, uh, with a DOS box uh, built in, or I mean, they, they sort of uh, they, uh, patch and uh, deal with the, uh, with the compatibility issues themselves before they distribute the stuff. There were still some some sort of compatibility issues uh, that I, I couldn't quite figure out. But uh, the main main thing was that I was uh, moving around like with this guy here, and I got the little robot up and running like here, and I even uh, I even uh, got to interact with some levers and, and everything, but there's this uh, room with a, with a technician uh, where I think a specific uh, action sequence is, is required. Kind of, uh, you have to like, I don't know, distract the, the tech uh, while you plunder some parts or while you can reconfigure his computer or something. And I sort of didn't, <laughs> never figured that one out. So I'm doing a little bit better in this game. So let me return here. There's no way I can reach that. There's no way I can reach that. Okay. Good old Crispin. Good old Crispin will fetch this for me. Could you grab that lantern? Sure thing, boss. You know, I always wanted to be able to fly. That's why I built you with a maglev unit. Not so that you could store tools on hard-to-reach ledges? Well, that too. <laughs> sitting around. Uh -huh. Without power from the ship, the telescope won't work. Bad timing with those repairs, huh, boss? <laughs> okay, is there something else here? Only a little sliver left before the moon wanes entirely. Well, I'm glad we're not the only ones running out of power. <laughs> Strange clouds, huh, boss? It's too dark to see the ladder runs. Okay, now this is where I have to start using the inventory. Good thing there's still some power in the circuit. <laughs> uh, boss, shouldn't you have thought of that before coming down here? We could have been stuck. I could have just ridden you back to the deck. Really? No. <laughs> Routing that much power to your maglev unit would cause it to explode. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't find a working fuse to solve the problem. I'm a floating bomb. <laughs> I'm a floating bomb. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> okay, so we need to go back down here, and now I, I need to start picking up all sorts of stuff. Couldn't hurt to bring the gospel of man with us. Going to pray for a miracle, boss? We are man's miracle, Crispin. Let's hope that's enough. Uh, what else do I, have I don't need to bring these with me. After all, boss, life is stranger than fiction. Me. <laughs> Keep it. 
Why were you looking for my plasma torch? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> okay, so apparently we picked up a plasma torch. There's no reason to cut that, or burn it, or weld it. I can't pick that up. I can't go the controls period. for this hatch are unresponsive. Okay. And there will be more stuff here to pick up, but it seems that right now it hasn't shown up yet. So I'm going to check the area here. to go and interact with some junk. You know that. It's just scrap. Oh, just think of all the brothers and sisters you could make for me from all that junk. One of you is more than enough. <laughs> it's just scrap. There's nothing worth bothering with. If that red light went off, I bet the train would start going. <laughs> Crispin, sometimes I think you're trying to get me to waste time. Who, me? <laughs> okay. I picked it clean years ago. Looks like an old P2, or is it a P3? Looks like an old P2, or is it a P3? It's just scrap. It's just scrap. It's three pieces of Gordium conduit. Sweet. Unfortunately, one of them is completely corroded and worthless. I can't see anything to do with it. Okay, since I've already been here, I know that I can check out... There's plenty this. of light to see by already. Oh, okay. There's a piece of Gordium conduit way back there. Crispin? Crispin, can you go in there and get that piece of conduit? I suppose. That would have been a lot easier with hands, boss. Thank you. It's locked tight. And that's why we have a plasma torch. Let's see if this works. Is that a spark plug, boss? Who locks up a spark plug? Er, actually, I think that box was some kind of machine. You killed it! Recycled it. <laughs> It's just scrap. Pretty sure I won't get it. It's just scrap. The first try. It's locked tight. How do you think a train wound up out here, boss? Maybe they brought it here by boat. Very funny. <laughs> so, this door is uh, one thing that I haven't been able to figure out yet. I wasn't able to weld it, or cut it, or burn it. One robot's junk is another robot's treasure. <laughs> if only I were another robot. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Unique. So now I need to start putting shit together. There's supposed to be a power-bearing conduit between this socket and the ship, but I never got around to putting one together. Not a bad idea, but I can't carry oh. enough of a charge, and it isn't sticky enough to hold them in place. Oh. How would that even work? I don't know. I can't remember. Okay. Plug goes here. The 
won't work until they're locked together. Okay, and I can't remember how I did that. Even though I, I did that just like... Um, it's a data ago. cable, not a power cable. Right. Time, Time for a little welding. Oh, okay. That's it. Wow, that was easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> I'll need to get a closer look to see how it fits together. something to be desired. This is an emergency generator, Crispin. Well, it was an emergency, boss. It only runs for a few days, if that. Oh. Well, do we have another one? No, which means it still is an emergency. Well, in that case... First tips on the recharge station! <laughs> Gee, thanks. Okay. So? What's the plan, boss? We need to recover our power core. Or we could just take the train to Metropole and live in luxury! <laughs> First of all, there is no train to Metropole. And second, even with full charges, we can't just walk there. But more importantly, I hate that city. It's in my core logic. I don't know why, but I can't change it. Okay, okay. In that case, can't you just make us a new power core? Yes, but I need some kind of strong energy source for that. And you just make one of those, too? I'm just asking. <laughs> no, but somewhere around here are the plans for an energy sensor. That's awfully convenient. I designed it a long time ago, before I made you. I even found a sodium iodide crystal to use in the sensor. No man alone knows where it's buried now. <laughs> Here before we go on. So bye bye for now and see you soon.